Well, hello there, this is Todd from the Crossroads Inn, and welcome to another Warcraft lore video. In this video, we'll be going over all the Draenei that were seen in World of Warcraft Classic, aka Vanilla WoW. Now, we all know that they were introduced in the Burning Crusade as a playable race, although some were seen on Azeroth even before that, which is quite interesting. So with that said, just sit back and enjoy another tale from the Crossroads. On Draenor, when the Orc clans united and became the Horde at the behest of the Burning Legion, they set their eyes onto the peaceful exiled Eridar race, who were now known as Draenei, and started slaughtering them. Nearly the entire Draenei race was eradicated by the Horde, and some of the survivors would be exposed to demonic fell energies which mutated and deteriorated their bodies, as well as cut them off from the Holy Light. These corrupted Draenei would turn into two subspecies, the Broken and the Lost Ones. Their home of Draenor eventually became Outland as Ner'zhul opened magical portals that shattered their world. At first, all the corrupted Draenei became the Broken and were hunted throughout Outland by the demons of the Burning Legion. Sometime after the Horde invaded Azeroth through the Dark Portal, some of the Broken Draenei managed to cross onto Azeroth as well, where most of them would settle in the Swamp of Sorrows, where they founded the village of Harborage. After the Dark Portal closed down, regret and fear seized many of the Broken who had left their homeworld. In their despair, they cursed the name of the Light and sank into violence and hatred, becoming little more than mindless monsters, as they further devolved and became the Lost Ones. This third subspecies of devolved Draenei were the most mutated and corrupted of them all. These Draenei Lost Ones have split from the Broken Exiles in Harborage and created their own village called Fallow Sanctuary. Even though the Broken Exiles were their brethren, these Draenei Lost Ones would kill any of them in their sight and terrorize the village of Harborage, as well as stole the Broken Sacred Trinithus Crystals. Some of the Lost Ones believe that with these crystals, they can open up the Dark Portal once again and return to their broken home, which was now Outland. Some of the Lost Ones stayed in the Blasted Lands when they arrived to Azeroth, such as Kumisha the Collector, who worked on finding Drenith's shards and returning home. Anyway, this is the lore behind the Draenei Broken and the Lost Ones who are only seen in the Swamp of Sorrows and the Blasted Lands in Classic WoW. In Vanilla WoW, the Broken and the Lost Ones have the same appearance, aka the character models, which would eventually get retcon when the Burning Crusade expansion came out. Since the Burning Crusade, the Broken don't have the character's models of the Lost Ones anymore, but a new design that much better shows the transition from Draenei to the more corrupted versions of them, and finally to the most corrupted ones. So in the end, Classic World of Warcraft actually has Draenei in it, although only the Lost Ones character model, since the only Draenei that were seen before Classic WoW were in Warcraft 3, who were also retconned into the Broken Draenei look. Anyway guys, this is it on the video, and we hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe. If you're interested in Warcraft, Lord of the Rings slash Hobbit, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Witcher, and other fantasy franchise based lore, stay tuned for more videos like this one. And also, if you're by any chance into LEGO reviews and Star Wars lore videos, check out our main channel, The Scoundrel's Cantina. The link for it will be down below. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, no matter how lost you are, the Innkeeper will always show you the path. See you in another video.